Hi guys, Candia here with the Age Journal. Um, I am back to share with you, um, or try and finish up with you, this um, lap, file folder lap book that we've been working on. I have pre-prepped um, and cut out most of the stuff that we're gonna do, so that way, hopefully it won't take too long. And, Um, let's dig in. So I'm going to put this page on here. And so that it will be there for that. We might have to end up doing one more video. <laughs> So let's glue this onto here. And then these will go on top of here for the waterfall effect of the pictures. So we'll start out with that. Um, I already inked it up, got that prepped, pre prepped. So let me just grab my glue stick pull over my book for gluing. So this paper is beautiful on both sides. So it's hard to choose a side because it's so gorgeous. But me and my friend Kathy were at Tuesday morning again this week. And we found this paper pad again. So I got some more of this paper. It is this paper. Right here. K and Company paper pad. The um doesn't really say what the design is. Oh, it does down here. Let's see if I can read it. I have my contacts in. K Sarah Sarah design paper pad. So it's just so luscious. And I have my fan on because it's warm. It's hit a hundred here in Arizona, and it's warm in the house. So hopefully that's not creating too much noise for you guys, but I can't help it. I have to have it on. We just have little air, window air conditioners in our house. And when it's this hot, they don't work that great. And I didn't get this on quite straight, but that's okay. We'll just ink up the edges. And we've been using walnut stain, I believe, for this. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of inking there, mask the wonky edge, and it takes right care of it. Then this has curved edges, so I'm going to take my inch punch and just punch out the edge like that and I need to trim this end off because it's sticking out a little bit. So 
So let me rotate this around so I can get it on this side. Ink that. There we go. Now we got the pretty paper on. Now, to do the waterfall, all I did was take these, decide which order I wanted them in. So I stuck with greens and oranges. So I have three greens and three orange. So I think I'm gonna do this green on top first. Then this orange. polka dots out okay and then I'm gonna take my scoreboard and I'm just gonna score these at half an inch to give a little flat for them So that I can do my waterfall. And have something to glue down. And then some pictures can be attached right onto these. attach them down onto here with our glue. And this time I'm going to use a fabric attack. And just give a bead of glue along here. my excess glue I got there. The beauty of Fabri-Tac. Use my bold folder to branch it down. Flip it up. Make sure I don't have any glue sticking down here. And I'm gonna add my next page. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space in between them and just line it up and add the next one.
and we're going to do that for all of them. Leave a little bit of a gap again and line it up and burnish it down. Just about done with this. And you'll have a cute little waterfall added in here. To add pictures. Or for the recipient you're giving this to, to add pictures. Accidentally move that a little. Let's make sure it's straight again. Burnish it back down. Pull these all down. And we got a cute little tear of waterfall of pictures. And what I did to just keep them closed was attach a little paper clip to the top and they all stay closed. And then on the back side, what I did on the other pocket was add a vellum pocket. So I need a piece of file folder for that. So we'll, and I don't have one prepared for that. So we'll do that on the next video. But for this, I was going to add this to this page. We need to score it so we can add it into the book here. So this has the three lines. I'm just going to score it at the second line, which is pretty much at the half inch mark. To attach it down to our book right here and this if you if you're thinking ahead of time this should be done before you attach your paper down <laughs> but if you're like me and you didn't plan ahead you can do a cute little decorative strip of washi tape to cover it up And that's what we'll do. So let's glue this onto here. And then I have 
this for the other side. So I'm going to glue this on here and I'm going to glue this right here. And I think I'm going to just score it in half and fold it over so there's some showing on the other side too. Actually, yeah. So we have a little bit of a So it's at two and a half, so let's do it at one and a quarter. Yeah, pretty much gave us a half. Split it in half there. Just a hair off, but that's okay because we didn't need to be perfect with it. So that will give us a little bit of actually let's do it this way. We'll do this on this side. Yeah, like that. Okay, so let's glue up my favorite color is teal so I love this side of the paper more than the orange side but the little girl we're making this for loves orange so that is why we're mostly using the oranges in this journal we're doing what she loves Just getting the glue all over here. I like to be generous with the glue stick. So I go through them fast. But it's cheaper than the Fabri-Tac. So I started using a glue stick recently. really pretty you could have even if you wanted to just have glued it like on the edge and made it a little tuck spot but um, we're going to make a big pocket on the front of this so we don't want a tuck spot I'm 
and that's going to be a vellum pocket, which we'll work on next time. So this is all ready to go. And be glued in. Oh wait, it's sticking out a little bit up here. And I got a little bit there that's sticking out. But I don't mind that. It looks okay because we have white down here. So it just looks like it's the edge of the book. So let's glue this down. Come on glue. Come on down. Meet us at the bottom. So you want to line it up to the edge of the file folder. And burnish it down real good. got our flap on this side added in and on this side we'll add a pocket that flips out on it but I haven't picked out a pocket for that yet but what I have picked out is all the goodies that we're going to add in on here so let's work on that um, so for this first spot, I paper clipped what I wanted to do onto here. So I want to have that up there and I want to have this down here and I want to have it be an acetate pocket. So I have some acetate, actually it's not regular acetate, it's um, if I can figure out where I have my box. Where, where? So I can show you what it is. I got it at the thrift store. I'll have to show you in a future video because I don't know where my box of it is at the moment. But it's like a, a film for um, doing on a parent a parency film type thing and I found a huge stack of them for a couple bucks at a thrift store so this needs to be shortened so I'm gonna cut off let's, see, let's mark it with a pencil first I'm gonna cut this off from right here that can be used as like a label so save it and then we're going to take a ruler and we're going to work on the back side and I like to leave half an inch around the whole sides so I just go half an inch in on my ruler and I mark the lines.
And then I take my X-Acto type knife, a uh, box cutter type knife. Just pick this up at the Dollar Tree store. And I follow the lines. As I've said before, I do better if I just freestyle all of this with my hands than I do if I put a ruler down. So that's what I do. And I just follow the lines and cut the center out. And save this part too because you can use this for making labels, stamping words on, making tags. Works great. So now we got this. And the little girl's name starts with an F S, so I picked this particular card for her because it has her name initial on it. So I'm just gonna put some of my Fabri-Tac beacon all around the edge of this and then lay my appearancey film acetate whatever you want to call it on the back of this And I did it like this because there's a little spot right here that is wonky. So I'm going to just cut off both ends. And then I still have a good portion left to use for another piece to save. And I'll just throw this little smidgen away. So now I have this little one right here for here and this is just an envelope I cut down with the window envelope and I put a notch in it using my um, circle punch. Just put my circle punch in here and punched a, a little thumb hole in there and we're going to put that there and this here. and glue them both down and they will both be pockets so you just want to add glue on three sides for this Burnish it down. And then we'll add glue to the back of this. Now you can just add it on three sides if you want to do a double pocket with it, but I am happy with just one pocket. So I'm just going to add glue to the whole back side of it. There's plenty of pockets in here. There, we just got two pockets added to the front there. And we're going to go over to the next two pages. And I chose an envelope and a little folder pocket for this page. This, I want to ink up a little bit. And 
and we're just going to glue these both down. And then we'll, in next video, we'll decorate all these up and fill them up. And the next video will be, should be finished. And then this little envelope where she can slide stuff into. Has a pretty little flower on it. And then this envelope um, is the one that I cut down here on the front. So you can see I just clipped it here and I used the top part of it elsewhere. But we're going to just glue the flap down and use this as a tuck spot or a pocket. You could also, and maybe we'll do this, maybe we'll see if I have a scrap piece of paper. You could also glue a pretty piece of, strip of paper along here and have that be a tuck pocket so you're not seeing the flap of the envelope. So maybe we'll do that too. So the next page two pages. It's going to be this po pocket stuff and this little envelope. So let's get this one glued down. And then this one needs to be glued together. So it gets a little bit of glue right here and right here and then these get folded in and glued little bit too much glue there because it was oozing but we'll work with it I'll rub a little bit off of my finger And then I think I will just make this a three pocket by just going along the back here and gluing around the edge. And then it will be a little three tuck pocket. pretty bright blue three tuck pocket and then we'll add some decorations to it and then we're going to add this little envelope and this little envelope to here
and then this one we're just going to do like we did with the big envelope and just glue along the edge of the flap of the envelope. And lay it down and smooth it on. Make sure you don't have any glue oozing out. And then we're going to move over to the back side. And we're going to use this one. And this is the other half of this right here, I think. Oh no, this is just a piece of book pages I turned into an envelope. Maybe it's not. It looks like I glued it together. Oh, it is. I'm just going to make. I know what I did. <laughs> Let me glue that together. That's supposed to be glued together. Okay, what I was planning to do with it is to go like this and glue on three edges. It's just a piece of pages I glued together and fold it up and then we're gonna put it on here and it will become a little pocket and this is going to be glued by the flap so no I wanted to glue it like this so I'm gonna put glue on the back And I'm going to lay it down right here. And then this and this go here. And this is just a time card I'm folding up and I'm going to glue on the edge and make a little pocket out of it. Running low on glue. I got a new bottle, but I wanted to get this one all used up before I open the new one. And then I'm going to just glue up the side, three sides and make a big pocket with this. Or an, a little skinny, like a bookmark type tuck. And then I have this little file folder that I am going to make a pocket out of, and I'm going to glue each side together and I think I'm gonna tab it a little bit Woo. Did that come flying at you guys <laughs> so you know that it's a pocket and then we're just gonna glue the, the back of this all up and slap it down There, we got one more to go. So this is the other side of the envelope and we're going to create a, another thumb tab with this. And this didn't get inked up at all since it's
showing the difference of the thumb tab there. I like to have that inked up. And let's glue up the back of this. And then I have this pretty envelope that we're just going to glue the tab of the envelope down and it will be a flip up and a pocket. So we have all these pockets and these pockets to fill and some Velcro to put on and two more pockets to make and an envelope to put here and then a paper pad to put here. Um, so we'll work on that next time. And one last thing I wanted to do before we close up today for today is um, how I decided to close I I purchased these clips off of or these bands off of Amazon they're from Mandala, Mandala crafts they're um, nine inch loops and it comes with 50 loops and it wasn't very expensive it was pretty cheap for 50 and so I'm just going to punch a hole and I'm going to do the 1 8 inch hole with my crocodile right here on the end of each side And then we'll slide this through. And it will just slide around the journal and hold it closed like that voila so that's what I decided to do for the closure so we'll be back and we'll try and get this journal lap book file for the lap book thing the mabob finished up and I hope you guys are having a great day sorry I haven't been on in a little while to work on this um, and I will get back to you again real soon. So see you guys later. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, share, like, comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So um, thank you all for visiting with me or, and um, watching the um, video today. So have a great day. Bye guys.